Hello, this is Benjamin Dean. I am doing this interview for my interviewing class, whose number escapes me. Um, this is Miss Susan Fleming. She um, is the owner of Vintage Home Makeovers, which renovates vintage houses. Um, how are you? I'm doing good, Ben. Awesome. Great to be with you. Oh, that's a pleasure. Um, how did you get into um, renovating houses? Well, I have always enjoyed um, older homes. I've always enjoyed collecting house plans. And I remember back in my 20s, I would uh, collect duplex plans because I always had a vision of, of building a duplex where I would live in one half and then rent out the other half and it would pay my mortgage. And then over the years, I was a big fan of HGTV. So I watched a lot of those shows. And um, uh, I had... Um, recently lost a job when I really got into the business. I had got laid off a job and got tired of interviewing for jobs and people turned me down. So I thought, what can I do where I don't have to beg for a job? And so I found my first flip, which I did buy with no money down. I know people think that's not possible, but I did do that. <laughs> and um, um, I had taken a course on, on how to do that. And um, Bought a house on a land contract, and it took about six months to renovate it and flip it, and then made about 13000 profit after six months. Hard, grueling work, many mistakes, but I kept at it. You know, once you get in so far, you have to, there's no other choice Absolutely. but to just go through. So, I did. Okay, so how many houses have you done so far? The one we're in today is the seventh one that I've done. So, All right. Yeah. And you sold this house, is that correct? This house is already sold. It was on the market for three weeks. and uh, we So we're in someone over. else's house at the moment. This is true, Ben. We are <laughs> in someone else's house. Well, in three weeks, it will actually be there. Okay, so, um, so okay. yeah, but we've we'll got it just for a little while longer. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I will say, too, I did renovate three homes on one street, right oh, across okay. the street from each other. My second flip. Uh, was on a, a street called Greenway Road, and it was a 1960s ranch, and we updated it and sold it pretty quickly as well. And then the people next door, a few months after that, they had a home for sale, so I approached them about buying their home. And so I flipped that house, and then about a year after that, uh, the lady across the street got married and moved away, and so we talked, and um, I did her house as well. Awesome. So three in a row. This particular house, why did you um, choose it? Well, when I first walked in, I just loved the old woodwork. And when we do the video tour of the house, right. we'll highlight that. The, the windows have all these big headers up over the windows. The, you've got the beautiful fireplace like we're sitting in front of that came from the dining room. Um, you've got the tall baseboard trim. And I just loved the character of the house. Um, I had a vision when I first walked into this house. We had, where we're at right now was the living room, and there was a wall here with right. fireplace on each side. Yes, I remember that. Because you did my first video. Yes, I did the first video. Yeah, exactly. And you set on the nail during that video. I, I think it was the third video. <laughs> it was, oh, it was very dangerous. Yes. Different times during the renovation. So you got to watch it. It was very brave coming into a, a job site well, like that. You. So I appreciate your... Taking a chance and videoing. Oh, no problem. Risking yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so that was good. But what was the biggest challenge so far in this house that, that happened in this house? Uh, the biggest challenge probably was everything about this particular house. Because when we bought it, we didn't plan to gut the house. Right. And we were going to leave the plaster on the walls, take down the wall between the living and dining room, which we did, and the wall between the kitchen and the dining room. But we didn't plan to do as extensive a renovation as we did. But, um, but the fact that we did end up gutting the house, we were able to put in insulation uh, in much easier fashion. We changed some of the window layouts. We put double windows where there were singles. And upstairs, as you'll see in one of the videos we're going to do as we wrap up, um, we totally changed the floor plan upstairs. So I went from a two bedroom, one bath upstairs to now three bedrooms, two full baths, and the laundry is upstairs. So it was challenging, but I think the result was good. <laughs> that is incredible. Mm -hmm. What was the most rewarding part of renovating this house? I 
would say the most re the most rewarding part of any of my reservations uh, renovations Finish. is this. <laughs> you know, when we're at the end and I can show it off and I have the open house yes. and people come and see it and um, and it turns out the way that I envisioned it or even better than what I envisioned. So absolutely, it's exciting to me. It's what keeps me doing it. Can you talk to us about juggling all these trades that you have to do in order to make the house? Like, you have the plumbing, you have the, of course, the construction, of course, and mm -hmm. all the electricity, of course. Right. Um, how, is, how is it juggling all of that? That is, that is probably the biggest challenge, is getting all of that flowing to where people are coming in a timely fashion. We're not sitting there with nothing happening for weeks at a time. And where you don't have people like climbing over top of each other to get mm -hmm. their job done. So uh, that's probably my biggest challenge as I'm putting the project together. I usually do a timeline and try to, to guesstimate how long the different trades are going to take. You know, how long the plumbing will take, how right. long the electrical and all that. And so you just try to um, schedule them and hope that they're available when you need to. Um, I, and I will say um, a couple of the trades, the, the individuals that I wanted at first uh, were not available when it came time for that part of the house. Mm -hmm. So you always need to have two or three different trades um, that uh, you know somebody good in that trade. So if one's not available, you can call another one. That's always good. Mm -hmm. um, permits. How many did you need? Well, I, I got a building permit um, to do my renovation because whenever you're changing structures on the outside of the house, you, know, you need to get permits for that. Now, the electrician and the plumber get their permits whenever okay. they're doing those. Okay. So, yeah. So, just the, the general permit is the only one that I have to get. For Concern me ignorant in the process of doing all of this. That's so. okay. <laughs> I mean, I tell you, Ben, my first clip, I was just as ignorant. I mean, I've watched um, HGTV for years, but, you know, in a half an hour, an hour show, you don't get into all the details that go into doing it. After years, you consider yourself an expert. Yeah, I'm getting there, but I, 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 I was telling myself when I first started after 10 flips, maybe I won't make so many mistakes. There you <laughs> so go. You Absolutely. always make mistakes. Yes. But you learn from them. Mm -hmm. so that's key. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Well, I, I appreciate you talking with us. Thank you, Ben. It's been a pleasure, and I, I would just say to anyone out there to follow your dream. You know, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to jump in. Follow your passion, and... Um, You'll learn along the way. So don't let fear prevent you from doing what you really want to do in this life. And also I said us. There's only me. So okay. well there is my mother, so who is off camera. We have a crew here. Yes. A crew of two. <laughs> it takes a crew of two to Absolutely. pull me together. Someone needs to talk and someone needs to push the button. That's right. Thank you so much, Ben. It's been Thank a pleasure. You. All right. And I'll now take a QA.